Hello, thank you for joining us today. We're going to be looking today in the book of Acts at the conversion of the Ethiopian eunuch. In this chapter, in Acts 8, we read about Philip the Evangelist. It starts off with him preaching the gospel in Samaria, and he does a tremendous job there. And then he's chosen by the Holy Spirit to, to go down onto the desert road that leads to Gaza. And there he finds this very important man, this Ethiopian, who was the treasurer of the great Queen Candace. But not only was he uh, the treasurer, but he also, the Bible tells us he was a Jew. He'd been to Jerusalem, and now he was returning from Jerusalem, riding in his chariot. The Holy Spirit said to, uh, to Philip, go up and join this chariot. And he did. Notice what we read there. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, Well, how could I unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. What a wonderful opportunity Philip had for preaching the gospel to this man. This was a man who believed in God. He was reading his Bible, but he was a bit confused. So he asked the preacher, What does this say? Verse 32. Now the passage of scripture he was reading was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, as a lamb before its silent, his shearer is silent, so he does not open his mouth. In humiliation, his judgment is taken away. Who will relate his generation? For his life is removed from the earth. The Ethiopian eunuch was reading a passage from the book of Isaiah that was speaking specifically about Jesus. Jesus who was sacrificed for the forgiveness of our sins like a lamb was sacrificed under the old covenant. And notice what he says. The eunuch answered Philip and said, Please tell me, of whom does this prophet say this? Of himself or someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and began from this scripture. He preached Jesus to him. You see, the only way we can be saved is by believing in Jesus and doing as he says. And through the providence of God, this preacher, Philip, was brought to this Ethiopian eunuch. And there he preached Jesus to him. We go on down in the story and notice what happened. As, the, as they were going along, they came to some water. And the eunuch said, look water, what prevents me from being baptized? Now you remember that this was on a desert road. But at the very time that this eunuch decided he needed to be baptized, there was some water. Look, water, what prevents me from being baptized? You see, when Philip was preaching Jesus to him, he was preaching the importance of baptism. The very first time the gospel was preached in Acts 2, we read in verse 38, uh, and Peter replied, Repent, and let each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever we preach Jesus, we've got to preach baptism. Notice the, the answer. And Philip said, If you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. You said Philip was preaching just the words of Jesus. In Mark 16, 16, Jesus said, He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who disbelieves will be condemned. So Philip, uh, the Ethiopian says, uh, What prevents me from being baptized? He says, If you believe, you may be baptized. And then we get a wonderful picture of what baptism is. Verse 38. And he ordered the chariot to stop, and they both went down into the water, Philip as well as the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but went on his way rejoicing. You see, because of the Ethiopian's belief that Jesus Christ was the Son of God, we have the great confession there, he was a fit person to be baptized. And so they stopped the chariot in which they were in. They got out of it and both went down into the water. Philip as well as the eunuch and he baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, you see we have the picture of baptism there. Baptism is immersion. 
They went down into the water. The eunuch was immersed in the water. And then they came up out of the water. Well, the Holy Spirit snatched Philip away. And the eunuch went on his way rejoicing. Why was he rejoicing? Because he had forgiveness of sins. He was saved. He had been waiting on the Messiah. He had been preached about Jesus Christ, the Messiah. He believed. He made the great confession. And he was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins. Because of forgiveness of sins, he rejoiced greatly. My friends, you too can have forgiveness of sins through your belief, you repent of your sins, you confess the name of Jesus Christ and submit to baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will be added to the Lord's church. If you'd like more information or of any questions you want to ask us, please put them in the comments below. We thank you so much for your attention today. Goodbye for now.